Oh, I well, what are you discussing today? We are discussing not only our new name. Oh yeah, our name. We picked a name and a winner. Um, and then we had a lot of good options and, uh, we did decide on one. Um, and then we're talking about goal setting and how to make our goals smarter. Cool. Well, should we announce the winner first? Yeah, we should. Do you remember who it was? Hang on. I do. Our winning title is Dump Dump Dum. Rise and grind. Rise and grind. That's what we're going to be calling this. This uh, webisode podcast. It's going to be, we're going to turn it into a podcast too, so if you guys don't catch it live or not into watching things on Facebook, um, we'll probably have a podcast up and running after our next episode. Um, mm-hmm. We're just working on all that stuff now. You know, I have to make some cool graphics and get all in iTunes and all those different things, but Heck yeah. it's coming along. Yes, it is. Um, and the winner of that contest was Ilsa Lipke. Oh, yeah. So, Ilsa Lipke. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. You have to come and get it. You might have to fight for it. No, I'm just kidding. It's all yours. But so you can see our beautiful faces a little bit better. Let's uh, turn off this crazy red overlay in my <laughs> eyes. All right. So goal setting. Um, anything you want to preface before we get into smarter? Yeah. So I think goal setting, especially you know this time of year being... January, the new year. Mm-hmm. Um, goal setting is super important. You know, everyone's setting their New Year's resolutions and trying to figure out what's in store for them for 2018. And, you know, one thing that I see is a lot of people don't have an approach for it. Yeah. That's actually going to have mm-hmm. them be able to meet their goals. Um, and w- one of my favorite things I've heard is, and I know it's true, is 21 days to a habit. So you actually yep. see. By January 21st is kind of typically the make it or break it day that people either lose everything or they're really on track to start making their goals. Yeah. So what we're doing right now is we're going to help you. If you're on track, make it better. If you're off track, you know, let's do it again, mm-hmm. but let's do it correctly. Okay. Yeah. So I know a lot of people out there have heard about the SMART method for defining goals. Um, that's important, but we're going to kind of take that to two next levels. Yeah. We're by adding a, a E and an R, R E and another R. So they get gonna, smarter. So um, things up. and I think the first one that, so it's a, it's, you know, um, how do you spell smarter? S M A R T E R. Ah, that's how you spell smarter. This and we're going to go letter by letter letter. So once you have your goal, um, and you've kind of defined it, we're going to go, and, and that goal is going to be, I want to do what by when. Okay. And once you've answered that question, you can go letter by letter down smarter and kind of plan your goal. So the first one I think is the most important is it making your goal S stands for specific and short term. So even if you have a really like, you know, a big goal, that's going to take all year to accomplish. You should break that down into 12 months of or 12 separate goals that you can achieve month by month. Um, Making your goals very, very specific and making your goals achievable in a short amount of time, even if it's going to lead up into a major goal, I think is something that people don't do. They just kind of like, by 2019, I want to be this. Yeah, for sure. I definitely think, you know, every goal needs to be broken down into many ones, Mm -hmm. right? Or come up with a bunch of mini ones that work together I hate this word synergistically. Synergistically, <laughs> to be a big one. Yeah. Um, we got a few people on. If you guys, I see Chris, I see Josh. Awesome. If you guys want to share this with your friends, that'd be cool. We we, we love viewers. Give us some thumbs up, some hearts. I should figure out a way to put the heart emoji on here. Yeah. Uh, oh. No. Oh yeah. Here we go. There it is. All right. So uh, S. Um, S. Specific and short term. Um, I don't want to know what you're going to do in eight months. I want to know what you're going to do in four weeks. All right. So um, awesome. And then that ties right in with our M, which is measurable, um, making it so that we avoid saying, I want to be better at X or I want to get faster or I want to just lose weight, like giving yourself a measurable goal, which makes it possible to see your progress. Like I want to say, like, I want to shave 10 seconds off my mile time or I want to lose 
15 pounds. So, um, so what if I said, let's, let's combine these. What if I said in 2018, I want to add 50 pounds on my bench press? Mm -hmm. What you're saying is it probably makes it smart to make those goals smaller, let's say quarterly. Yeah. You know, or let's say I want to add 100 pounds. Let's make this yep. easy. I want to yep. add 100 pounds to my bench press in 2018. Mm -hmm. Right? We can make it, that's measurable, but we can even make it smaller and short term and measurable by saying 25 pounds every quarter. Yeah. Wow. That makes it specific, short term, measurable. It's like a goal and a goal. Yeah. Cool. And what happens if I do better though? And then you just keep grinding. Keep grinding. <laughs> I love it. Keep that. smashing it. Adjust your goal. And that, uh, then I kind of what that's, and you know, we were going to talk about this, um, how all these uh, letters kind of come together, but um, that's going to make things easier to, like, if you make your short term goals, it's going to allow you to make adjustments along the way. So let's say I do add, you know, I go crazy and I add 50 pounds of my bench press in a quarter. Yeah. I can adjust what the rest of my year looks like, or maybe even adjust my yearly goal. Um, so now we're on A. Um, a is agreed upon and you kind of have to make sure that your goals are agreed upon in your support network. So if you're, you know, your family, you know, can't sustain what you want to do, you have to make sure like, you know, if they're going to want to, you know, be a part of that and everyone knows, you know, kind of on the same page. Um, I, I feel like this mostly goes for like goals for like kids. Okay. Um, but I feel like if you have like a family or people who are relying on you, they got to make sure that your goals don't get in the way of anything, any other responsibilities. Um, or if they do, we can work around those. You know what I mean? It makes sense. Um, yeah. Do you have anything to say about agreed upon? Um, I think some of it just kind of depends on where that goal setting is, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I do think this is a nice one because it, part of this acronym is why we do it is because this is how we discuss this with kids at our academy, but it certainly well applies to adults too. Yes. But, you know, running a jujitsu team, you know, if I want to set goals for my business, goals for my athletes, whatever it may be, I need to make sure that that goal for the group is agreed upon amongst everyone. Otherwise there won't be success. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Parents, if you're coming up with a goal that says, you know, my kid's going to get an A in science, mm -hmm. I would hope you're getting that agreed upon with your child who also knows the same goal. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right. And then uh, another good one, this goes in with the, um, you know, definitely goes in with the first three letters is uh, reason based. You have to have a reason to want to do your goal. You have to have a, you have to have a, Something in your life that's making you want to achieve this. Otherwise, you're not going to be motivated to do it. And I feel like having a, a really dedicated reason, if not a passion to do, achieve this goal, is what's really going to make it or break it for you. Yeah. I have it on the screen. S-M-A-R. Smar. Smar. If you're watching live. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, you know, it, I don't know. It depends how driven someone is. I don't know if anyone necessarily needs a solid reason. Like, you know, I have a goal to, you know, lose some weight and mm -hmm. be healthier. And some people ask me why. And I'm like, I don't know, because I want to. Yeah. But I'm the kind of person who can drive and do that sort of a thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think tying a reason to your goal is an amazing way to kind of help you define it and you know, make sure that you stick with it. It really provides that, like you said, that passion behind your goal. Yeah. Well, it, it gets you there. On the other side of what you said, like I'm my currently, my goal is to lose some weight. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm achieving and I'm so, tracking that you're goal. You're so lean. Thank you. Got oh. your rash guard on. <laughs> Thank you. But, um, the reason behind that was I want to compete. I want to see how I do at 185 this year in that weight class for a two competition. How much you weigh now? Um, I am at 196. So looking at losing another four pounds and then doing a nice, easy water cut to 185. And you're competing tomorrow. I am competing tomorrow. Well, um, different weight judo. classes, but yeah. yeah. What's the weight well, class tomorrow? Judo. Um, sometimes with judo t tournaments, it's hard to say. Probably oh, yeah, the 90 on. kilo, okay. but I could possibly be in 100 plus. It depends on who all shows up. 100 plus. Some big, big boys. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 100 plus kilos, 220 pounds. Yeah. 
Um, so it's yeah. Large. Yeah. And then, uh, now I guess we're on T. 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 Trackable and time based. Very, very Trackable. important. Trackable, meaning that I am, you're, you're gonna run into barriers across your goal. Right? You're gonna run into barriers. It's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy. So if you don't track your progress on your goal and you didn't craft your goal to be trackable, those barriers are going to be very hard to surmount, right? But if I can see those little increments, those little slices of getting better and better and better and better, I can see, wow, look how far I've come. Even though, you know, I've been, you know, I have a hard time with procrastinating, I'm not going to give up now because I can track my progress. I can see how far yeah. I've come and how close I am to my goal. It's the, it helps with the little wins, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and it helps make sure that, you know, it's trackable because it's measurable. Yep. And, and that's specific and short term. <laughs> it's weird how this stuff like, yeah, it all works comes together. together. But, you know, it's it's important. You know, if your goal is to make more money this year, you know, find a way that you can track it and track it in a way that it's going to help you and meet your goals. Avoid that word more. Be like, I pick a specific number of money yeah. that you want to make that year, right? Then it's measurable. If it's measurable, it's trackable. That's right. Yeah. Whoops. It's okay. Let's see, and you don't even think about it. You don't even think about it. So we had it like we had kids come in, um, and uh, I had them give me all their goals, right? And then every time a student would come to me like, "I want to be better at X," I'd say, "Okay, here's where we sat down and we said, let's make this measurable. Let's avoid that word better. Let's give us a hard number, and we can move on from there." Um, and time based, I think, is important, which means giving yourself deadlines uh, keeps you accountable on your goals, so you know, like, I'm going to achieve this by March first. You can only do that is if you've broken your goals specifically and short term. Okay. Give yourself little wins to accomplish. Give yourself deadlines to accomplish those little wins. And those things will each, you know, build upon each other. Hmm. It all ties together. It all ties together. It all really does. I really like this, this, this approach to goal setting. And I think with anything, if you have a system to it, um, things become a lot easier. This is a system. It is a system. Systems are important. Yes. Our, the conference I went to yesterday, we were talking about it a little bit, but that's like the main thing that I think most people took out of this conference I went to on, you know, running a business is systemizing everything. If you systemize it, it works. And if it doesn't work, you have a system that you can actually improve upon. Mm -hmm. Right. And bringing it into the jujitsu realm, I mean, you talk about, you know, a lot of the guys have systems, the 10th planet system, the Danaher system, the 80, 20 system. People have their single leg X system, system. like Kimura and, trap system. Like all these high level, high level athletes have a system of movements and routes that they go on. Um, and it extends into, like you said, businesses, goal setting, just life in general. Yeah. yeah. Just your morning, your daily routine. You give yourself a system to go by a procedure and I mean, that can kind of sound boring, but just make your system fun. I get so much shit done because I systemize like my entire life. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll talk about getting shit done and, all right. and how we do it. But so that's gonna be another you can achieve all of your goals using that smart method. But here, we're going to make this smarter. Wait, let's do smart. Specific, Specific and short term. Short term. Measurable. Uh, agreed, agreed upon. upon. Reason based, and then T is trackable and time based. Perfect. Okay. Now, nah, that's for most people, and I think we should probably just end there. No, I think these next two are really nice. So, Actually, I think most people flip the A's or R's, but that's okay. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Okay. So now we have another E. We have another E. Well, not another one, but, but e. an E. An E. And that's explicit. That's a big word. Vividly. How's the word? Explain your goal to yourself very, very detailed. So knowing exactly what you want, knowing by exactly when, and making sure everybody else knows exactly what you're trying to achieve. Um, if it kind of stays in the amorphous, you know, I uh, kind of want to do this stage, it's going to be very hard to get past those barriers we were talking about. But if you know exactly what you want, and you can be explicit in describing what you want to yourself, at least, um, your goal becomes that much more achievable. 
I like that one. I do like that one. I think not enough people it, spend enough time really explaining to themselves what they want. Like they know yeah. they want something and they have like an idea in their head, but they can't put it into words and they can't, you know, really, ex- you know, explain it to themselves. That's, that's nice. And I know that now might be a good time for it, but you know, just telling yourself the goal is, is one thing and figuring all this stuff out is one thing, but taking it and writing it down and putting this plan together is what really is going to make things happen, right? How many times have you guys re- like told yourself a goal? Or even just written it once, and you know, two weeks later, it's just gone through the wind. You haven't thought about it at all. Mm-hmm. Um, big thing f- um, from a book by Napoleon Hill um, is, you know, write it down. Write down what you want and look at it every single day. I have my journal. I keep with me all the time. Okay, and it essentially makes me do the smart method of goal setting. And I carry it around with me and I rewrite down my goal or write down a piece of my goal every single day, every single day. And I also write down multiple things I'm going to do that day. Sometimes it's only one up to three things that I'm going to do that day. That's going to help me achieve my goal. Hmm. Right. But it's all about being explicit with it. Like if I didn't do that and I didn't write it down, I wasn't ultra clear about what I wanted to get out of whatever I was doing. Um, I, I would never be on track for it. I'd be in that 21 day, you know, up and out already. But what's the date today? 27th. I'm safe. You're good. I'm good. Awesome. You made it. All right. So here's, and now we're getting to R. And the R kind of brings the rest of these letters into achievability, which is going to be realistic. And you have to make sure that you're realistic in your specificity, in your short, what short term goals you give yourself and the amount of time that you give yourself to do these goals. If they become impossibly difficult to achieve, even in the short term, you're never going to get past those crazy barriers that you're going to run into. So really break down. Maybe you have a two or three year goal. Maybe it's not going to be in 2000, you know, by 2019. Maybe this is going to be the next six years of your life, right? But don't try to cram the next six years of your life into 2019. Keep it realistic. Yeah. But I I want you to be careful of this because some people take realistic and they turn down their goals too much Mm -hmm. and limit themselves on what they can achieve. Right? You always need to be thinking that you can achieve more than you can actually do. Mm -hmm. Right? You know, if I say, we'll go back to the bench press example. Okay. If I limit myself to, you know, I want to bench press 50 pounds in 2018, Mm -hmm. right? Am I going to push myself as hard as I can to do that? Um, I don't think I would, right? No, it's true. So so I need to set a goal that's, yeah, it's realistic, but it's not going to be easy for me. Well, now here's the here's the converse side. Like, let's say you haven't been training for it, and now you say, okay, I want to compete at the Arnold's powerlifting competition next year. Yeah. Right? That's maybe not a realistic goal in a year. Yep. Right? And then you're going to feel really discouraged when you can't put on 100 pounds on your squat a quarter. Because you want to compete at the highest level of the sport within a year. You know what I mean? So I guess just keeping it on track. Even if you want to compete at the highest level of a sport, I totally agree with I totally support that. But make sure that you have the training and the goal setting and your smarter program to make you achieve that. And don't get discouraged when you're not, you know, skyrocketing in progress. And just crush it. Like reevaluate it, right? Mm -hmm. If you're... If, if you're on pace to do your goal in half the amount of time, revisit it. Reset yeah. your goal. Like, don't just live with that. Yeah. Or, you know, set a new goal that you're going to work on instead. You know, I want to maintain the goal that I just reached. And, you know, instead of focusing on my health or strength, I want to focus on my income or my relationships or mm-hmm. communication skills, yeah. whatever it may be, sure. right? Um, that's a big win for you. You get extra time back in your life. There's a, there's a bonus R with making things realistic is leaving room for mistakes. The bonus R. The bonus R. Whoa. Yeah. There's a bonus R. I wonder if I can make smarter. The, I wonder if I can make the bonus R in a different color. Room for that. 
mistakes. Like you have to smell. give yourself room for mistakes. You're, you're going to make them. You're going to make them a lot, and that's going to make your goal that much more important to achieve. Or it, it, It's going to help you grow. It's going to help your future goals. Um, and if you just, if you don't give yourself room for mistakes, if you don't plan this, um, smarter goal with that extra wiggle room, you know, to fall down sometimes, it's going to be that much harder to achieve and it's going to be that much more unrealistic. Cool. What's your goal right now? I know the lose weight thing. Lose weight. Oh, my goal right now is to win a gold medal tomorrow. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Just one. I guess you only have one. I only have one. Division. Oh. How, yeah. how are you going to win it? Uchimata. Throwing people through Putting some the floor. Per- <laughs> Putting some person-shaped holes through the floor. That's the plan. That'd be cool. Wisconsin yeah. Lutheran? Milwaukee, Wisconsin no, Lutheran. Milwaukee, Milwaukee, yeah, Milwaukee, Milwaukee Lutheran. Yeah, Milwaukee Lutheran. High school. Grand Tosa. Um, that's where my mom went to school. What time is it at? It's kind of uh, like Wins are at 9. I probably won't fight till noon. It's kind of by my house. Maybe I'll be able to One o'clock. I might be able to swing out there. That'd be cool. Odin's fighting. Just you and Odin? Yep. Scary. And the roll-offs. All the kids? Uh, I know at least um, Riley and uh, Parker. Okay. That'd be cool. Yeah. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a fun day. That'd be cool. Yeah. So so um, I, I think the one thing that I want to do for you guys is to help you achieve your goals or to make your goals smarter. Um, so if you're interested, sh- if you guys share this, and drop your email in the comments. I will send you my worksheet that I use to create my goals for success. Um, I haven't really shared it with anyone else before, but I have a pretty cool method that I like doing to help define what my goals are. Um, so share it, drop your email in the comments, or shoot me a private message, whatever it may be, and I'll get you that worksheet. Um, Anything else? Nope. Sounds good. That's all I got. Write your stuff down. Write it okay. down. Find something to write it, to track it, to do whatever that is that you do. Next time, I think we should talk about getting shit done. Right? So we talked about setting goals, how to define how to your do goals, it. <laughs> how to do what you say you're going to do mm-hmm. on a daily basis. Okay? Being congruent with what you say. Next week, I'll be in Arizona. It may just be me. Maybe Talon. I might be able to figure out the technology the way. thing to, uh, to get us in on a chat. But I think that's all we got for today. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. See you Until guys. Until next week.